proudly presented by Rolex. Hitchcock's Vertigo mixed with Freud's dream interpretation. That's Eric Wolfgang Korngold's mysterious opera, Die Tote Stadt, which premiered at the Bavarian State Opera in Munich. A story about grief, a man who lost his wife Marie and can't move on, and eventually falling in love with her lookalike, Marietta, Paul is torn between desire and a feeling of guilt. The rooms which split up and are put back together also reflect the inner conflict. I think the stage designer translated that very well. You can also imagine a city in itself, a psychological space. It's a Sigmund Freud space. That uh, shower goes up on the top of the other building. It's, and Paul is, uh, is downstairs. It makes this feeling like you're in a dream and you cannot reach something, even if you, even if you feel that you can, because it's not so far away. An exceptional work with a difficult score, written by an only 23-year-old composer. Technically speaking, it's almost unfeasible what the tenor has to do in the first act. I think it's partly because of Korngold's young age that he didn't know how far he could go. All that what he had in mind, all these incredible changes of harmony and rhythm, it's a crazy maze made up of different styles. Expressive sounds, finesse and psychedelic melodies. The opera challenges a maestro. Listen to the orchestra pit and watch what is happening there. It's something you will hardly find anywhere else, especially with such a difficult oeuvre. How Petrenko partly dissects it, but without ever losing the poetry. At the same time, there are these contradictions, these carts breaks, and these surprising flashes, which almost bring us back to Hitchcock. <laughs> After a nightmarish trip into the depths of his mind, Paul kills Marietta, but only in his dreams. Can he finally move on? I think that this is a nice idea to, to leave it unknown on, or uncleared. And even Korngold wrote in his uh, score that stage has to be opened till the last bars of the, of the music. The curtain has to stay up and show the emptiness of the stage. Musica was proudly presented by Rolex.